Today we're going to tune up this Volkswagen Beetle. So first we're going to use the Gunson timing light and then we're going to use the Gunson gas tester. Setting up the Gunson timing light could not be easier. Connect the red clip to a battery positive and the black clip to an earth. Then attach the inductive pickup to number one spark plug lead. Start the engine and make sure that the engine speed is as recommended in the manufacturer's documentation. It's a good idea to mark the engine's timing marks. We've used red paint on the engine block marker and on the pulley. Direct the timing light to the engine's timing marks. The powerful xenon light will make the synchronization of the timing marks easy to see, even in bright conditions. And the ignition timing can be adjusted if necessary. We set the timing, now we're going to check the carbon monoxide in the exhaust gas. Setting up and using the Gunson gas tester is also very easy. Connect it up to the battery, then leave the gas tester to calibrate itself in fresh air. Once the reading on the display has stabilised, set the gas tester to 2%. Leave it for a few minutes to stabilise again before inserting the probe into the exhaust pipe. Wait for at least another minute before checking the reading. The CO reading is quite high, so the carburetor is adjusted to bring the reading down to the recommended figure of 3%. The gas tester reacts quickly, making setting the mixture very precise. Both the advanced xenon timing light and the digital gas tester are very accurate and easy to use and ideal for the car enthusiasts to keep their engine in tip-top condition and best of all, save money on petrol.